Uh, excuse me, are you Joe Temple? Yes. Uh, yes, uh, you, you don't know me. Uh, my name is George Costanza. Did you happen to rent breakfast at Tiffany's? Hey, no, it's on. Yeah, well, you know, Poppy's over my place. Yeah, you know, it's a nice, a big night. I'm going to make the first test pizza at the restaurant. Oh, well, you got a regular Manhattan project over yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you know, he's uh, about to leave. He wants a duck money. Oh, okay. Hi, Poppy. Hello. I'm um, sorry about the gift. I didn't know about your condition. Well, that's if I, if you just have given me my dog, come on, I'll be out of my way. Okay, I'll get it. I want you to sit down, Poppy. You still recuperate. <sighs> Were you tired, Poppy? No. Hey, Poppy, you really think people want to make their own pizza? Kramer, did I ever tell you about it, my mother? There you go. Anyway, I'm uh, sorry again about the... Uh, the what? Uh, the... Uh, the... Uh, the... Uh, the... 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 Could it? Could, could he have? It is! Fucking Peter, my son! Sir? Well, what is it then? <laughs> my new son, Bobby Peter, my new son! Sure, it'll come out. I don't care if it comes out, I can't sit on that anymore. Ah, uh, you're making too much of it. Yeah, you're right. Just a natural human function. Happens to be on my sofa. I sat in the toilet where it would normally be. Well, anyway, the book club meets tomorrow, Mr. Temple. Well, I was going to watch it with my daughter. She likes Audrey Hepburn very much. Well, she was a delicate flower. <laughs> Why didn't you just read the book? Well, as I say, the uh, pink eye made my wish. Uh, really? Uh, this is George. Would you mind if he watched Breakfast at Tiffany's with us? Hi. I missed you. Oh, I missed you. I don't remember the last time I felt this way. Me either. I think about you all the time. You do? What do you think about me? Oh, yeah, all the time. All the time. Although... Recently, I've been thinking about this friend of mine. A friend? Oh, just this woman. She got impregnated by her troglodytic half-brother and decided to have an abortion. You know, someday, we're going to get enough people in the Supreme Court to change that law. <laughs> <laughs>